Do not have money. Do not have money. Do not have money. Do not have money. Morning, morning, morning. Morning, I just stopped and changed the driver. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where you going? Yeah, no, I'm just putting the documents together now. I'm just going to bind yeah. them up, bind them up today for for the hui. Yeah. And you, you'll see that uh, it's getting right to the bone yeah. of of how we how we're going to deal with Cook Street. It will come straight one shot from that uh, from the discrepancy of the titles. So you okay. you can see the history now of the of the. Um, um, the construction of the title yeah. back to Refa Refa uh, and up there for that the same the same titles will happen the same yeah. way yeah. yeah but that's just putting you on um, on the on the connection apart from anybody else sure it's just you and and you to speak uh, for okay. that for Refa Refa and Tera Waikato and no, yes. no one else, no, no one else, not even the money cows can do it because they're not up to that, that level sure. of, of court documents and titles and native court titles. They cannot speak like that because there was only, only limited, yes. amount, limited amount of knowledge to, uh, to go back into. And you had to be right, you had to, you had to be exact. So that's why I put. Sure. That's why the Facebook and the video, the YouTube's are the evidence. Yes, yes, and you're going there, going through it all over and over. Yeah, you go over and over because you own you own that position yes. to to speak for that tupuna sure. on that land, on that Pukekohe land, is Aye. is the make and break of all native titles here, Aye. and all the rest of them that they consolidated into the Queen's Bench Court. Yes. For for all her wealth, it comes out of that one there. Sure yeah, and and so it connects back to uh, Rangitukia. You'll see Fakafitia. The native court was in Rangitukia itself, not in Fakafitia. That was another one. That was a that was only one of the suggestions. It wasn't picked out because it was too big, and they didn't want to let a big piece of land go. So, yes. so they they chose Rangitukia where the school is, all that area yeah. there, where the school is, and even where um, where the the waka is. Aye. Yeah, all that area, aye, aye. all of that area there was that they split it up and put put, put people on yeah. those blocks, and, and and that's why they got that waka there to claim the toi kairako. Up to uh, up to Hikurangi to that school and that native court was right there, uh, in a building. But the, the that's build right. It's a tapere nuya fatunga. Is the used they used to have one and was there yeah. hundred years ago. Yeah, that's it. That's where it was. I think I don't know whether it would have been the football field where they had it or or the building. Where where do you think they would have had the building? Right there. No, it's the primary school. Oh, that's it's where they. Is. It's yeah, still there. that's where they held it. That's where. Yeah. That's where they. Yeah. That was Aye. the native court because of the Aye. of the schooling and, and the education Aye. of the yeah. native titles at that time. They were still teaching English. Yeah. The church was teaching English, and that, that that was connected to to the church on the hill, and, uh, and uh, but that's where it started. The Church of in uh, uh, Church of England or Saint Mary's Church uh, yeah. in Tiki Tiki was the whole area, right? Yeah. And so that that title there of Clendon being there, and Clendon ah. Clendon being at Awaroa, and 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 that's where that Rogan uh, uh, Refa title was put together in that court. The only three magistrate courts. That's it. So, so you're addressing Rangitukia and Awaroa, right? Uh, and and I fill in the gaps of Mohi Manukau 
than what they did with the Manukau title, right? Hello? Hello? I'm calling back. Hello? Oh. Your money, your phone went off. Uh, you know, I'll try and ring it again. His phone went off. Oh, I just realised the camera's gone. So now we see uh, Manahi as the spokesman for Referefa Manukau uh, and his title, I'm just putting online now, the receipt and the documentation of that one Pukikoi title. Uh, at the time M Mohi Manukau was talking about it and the area. Uh, right from Cleveland, right across. Everything was in the provincial Auckland from way up north, the top end of the North Island, right down below Lake Topo, right down about 30 miles out of Lake Topo, right across from east to west. That was the provincial Auckland area of the three magistrate courts. The one in Rangitukia at the school, that's the, that's the magistrate court that we're fixing our titles to, and that waka that's sitting in the Haho 7B block is part of the 700 acres of land in that area of the school back towards the beach uh, that uh, the Crown uh, had it got the, the Crown bought uh, for, for the court and that's where they held it because it was a big area in those times of people congregated there. Now all those people that are sitting on the land, uh, the Carr family, the, the Reed family and uh, so forth, well, they are the families that were in the church at the time and Rapa Takar, he's my friend there in Rangitukia, has all the church uh, because they were bishops and Wānoa was bishop too, Bishop Wānoa and Bishop Toa Wānoa and, and uh, also uh, uh, Ka. Uh, at the time, uh, the churches were uh, teaching English and also land titles, uh, which uh, started in that area, to Awaroa and the Manukau's in uh, uh, Helensville. So those two magistrate courts were the main ones for the Auckland province area. And so that's, uh, that's what I'm saying uh, with uh, Manahi takes charge of all of that and uh, nobody else's business to talk and even on the Ratna level uh, at the same time the Rogans were mixed in the Ratna family uh, uh, down the line in Wanganui and also the Manukau and the Wan was there where the Rogans were in the Kaipara and the Rogans are on our land blocks the B3 Marangaro B3 block in Te Araroa, uh, in those blocks to Tiki Tiki so that's where the Rogans are stuck on my block and stuck on Mohi Manukau's blocks and those um, uh, George Connolly uh, in uh, Huntley down in the Cambridge area, Tito, all that area there where he said that's the real Manukau, that is the real Manukau, the Tito Waikato Wharehere Manukau family, male line is dominant there, that's where I'm taking these titles back there from the Kaipara in Mohi Manukau's family which is down the female line and that's where the problem was. They made the money there, no money down in the Waikato, so now the Waikato is the judgment creditor and the, that's the Manukau and the Manukau in, in Kaipara is the judgment debtors against the Crown that forged the titles for the New South Wales government uh, through uh, the system of uh, transfer uh, because at the time the transfer was Referefa Manukau off 
his Waikato and Manukau uh, land blocks, the, the Manukau land blocks at Afitu, uh, Manukau Marae, and that's what uh, uh, Manahi Mohini is taking stock of that uh, title um, for me because I know all the history of uh, the Manukau's in the Waikato region, the Manukau region, but it was never up the other way in the northern regions because Refa Refa Manukau took it that way. Tira Waikato was down in the Waikato region, that's 1820 to 1830 period, and then Refa Refa Manukau took it up north into all the area from um, Waikato through Manukau Harbour and through to Kaipara and through to Paihia and Dargaville and also into um, uh, Russell, uh, uh, Rafati, Rafati. Uh, and, and so he had Marais all the way through and that's why he skipped from one place to the other, one Marais to the other until Kawao, the chief Kawao, caught him and they locked him up on Kawao Island, that the Napoli caught him, but he swam off and got away. Um, so. Uh, Oh, that's Manahi, okay. Uh, I'll just reply to Manahi, he just can't get a reception where he is. I'll just respond to him. Right, um, there, yeah, so um, there's no way of getting out of this one because I'm just putting those documents online and put them in the book and then I'll complete this book here and put all the documents, you can see the receipt here, well I'll just put all the rest of it there and fix it into Taheke Marae with um, uh, Morris Baker. Baker was on, on the, um, um, the land titles in, uh, as a magistrate in, um, down at the East Coast. He did those ones at um, uh, Rangitukia Magistrate Court, not the Whakawhitira Magistrate Court, the Rangitukia. The, the Whakawhitira was not selected. They they went for Rangitukia instead, and that's where that's where the mana lies in this title and this book. Okay, so that's where mana he comes from there, Rangitukia and me. We are both in our family, the Parapalas, the Mohinis, and the Wanos, uh, Hangers, are uh, in the same family group. Uh, that's when the cars came, uh, the C A R R or this K-A-R, that's when they came uh, into the area. The Huruas are in our family as well, and uh, there are others, but I'm saying the Huruas and the Hainas are very much old names that belong in that area with the Wanoas and the Hainas. <coughs> <coughs> okay, that's, that's how it is. So Manahi has the, 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 the spokes uh, position uh, and uh, uh, mana to speak for the Manukau family and um, uh, um, his own uh, uh, Mohini family of Moriori. These are Moriori titles that I'm talking about. Refa Refa went north and that's when Pomare got with him and started selling the lands at that time period with Clendon, okay? They took the title from Te Waikato down in Maunga totally from 1820 and that was already a contract with this flag, okay? With this flag. That's where that came from. The flag doesn't belong to Māori. It doesn't belong to the Whakameninga there. It belongs to those two chiefs, 
the money goes to cheeks. It's a British flag for that. Trade and commerce, Bundy. It's not for brand new whakamininas that are trying to stitch something together from something that was already founded. That flag was already founded in 1820 to 1834. All that period, all the way through with those two brothers, the two kings that took the title of the Commercial Trading Bank flag of Magistrate Court. So that's why I opened those Magistrate Courts, for that reason only, and not to play around with. You cannot play around with that flag, uh, Bundy, with those Maori government. It's not for a Maori government. The Maori belongs to the Iwi Maori, Tauiwi, and the New South Wales government. That's why you fellas are getting in trouble. You're, you're getting into legal trouble with the battle note I got in this book. It's none of your business. It's a third party that you are in a two party contract between those two chiefs and Rogan. You see, they married in my family, the Wanoors, at the East Cape, on the B3 block in the Marangaro land blocks, next to the Tikitiki land blocks. Well, those land blocks, they're Marangaro land blocks at Rangitukia. You see, those are Rangitukia, the Marangaro land blocks, and Ahaho be on the other side of the road. Uh, and so, those belong in my family and everything stitched up to Raiate Island and Rapa Nui Islands to Mokonui on our land block. Why can't you fellas know that? Why keep pushing shit uphill with the flag for something else? I'm telling you, you better to use the Tinaranga Teratanga flag because that's your flag, that's the Ngāpui flag. It's not going anywhere either, it's in the wind's office. For goodness sake, it's in the wind's office as a political Ngāpui flag. That's your own flag that was created with the red and black colours. This colour flag with the red cross on it is British. It's not a Maori flag. It was given for these two chiefs, and especially Rewherewha Manukau. That's in his time, 1862, from 1830, to 1862 period, he was alive, and he had King Tafia with a pound note, and he also had Kafiru the Giant of Waikato, that went from Aotea in Raglan, Whangaroa, up to the other Whangaroa, and conquered all that lot. It came from there, not Nazi Fata was made up, that, that's, that's not right. All that was fashioned by this Manukau and Mohi Manukau's law and the Ratna church. That was fashioned in Kaipara. They did that right under your nose. I went along with it all the way through knowing that there was something not quite right. It was George Connery that kept telling me he's black, it's a, a, a suspects. I don't know whether he's alive, I think he's dead because they're all dead now. The, my brother Tony just died two years ago, and I was staying in his home in Helensville, Rutter Street, 43 Rutter Street, or 41, one or two, just in the 10 acre block. That's where those 10 acre blocks was fashioned out in the Maryland Court, to cut the big blocks into 10 acre blocks. It was from there, that block, that more he wanted that block back. You see, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to these titles. It's in my blood. The Rogan is in me. And the Cosgrove lawyers, the Rogan judges, is in my blood. That's why I'm writing up these things. I have a right to, with the coat of arms, to write anything I like about titles. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to stitch this one to Cook Street and seize it on that basis of that Monaco title that wasn't put on that Lynn's titles when I said so.
that's Dion, the, my make, the guitar player, the uh, uh, entertainer of the year, d uh, Hart and the Three Men. Okay, he's very good. Uh, so, um, <coughs> as far as I'm concerned, what the offence is here is this: the, the government in New Zealand is corrupt. It's the biggest corrupter of its own laws. The Crimes Act 1961 and the Crimes Act 1951 and the Land Transfer Act 1952 is all being corrupted. And I'm taking Cook Street back off those landowners because I've warned them all the way through that I held the titles and they failed to put the Manukau's name on their titles, on the Lynn's Australian New Zealand land transfer titles. Under the 1952 Native Land Act, they had to put the name of any chief or any tūpuna or any man for that matter who had an interest in land. But they discharged my application to put the Manukau name on the title with me. You see, because we go together with, we stretch these titles up with my ancestors. Okay, in the Kaipara. And so they failed to do that. Now, it's my job to take it off them. That title in Cook Street and any other title for that matter that I see fit to be fraud. And we have a JP in the King's Bench Court now. Money and the Queen's Bench Court as well to discharge their titles and seize the land back with the private investigator, Graham Allen. He's waiting for a letter from my lawyer, Yu Tai Choi, the South Korean. Now, I'll leave that till after Taheke Native Magistrate Court hearing in Hokianga, uh, west of. Kaikoui, 20 minutes out towards Dargaville. Now, I'm going to wait till I get that this book finished. Then I'll hand the whole thing to the private investigator. He's an ex-British, a pretty British, um, um, Scotland Yard detective. Now, there's no way anyone can refute what I'm saying in my family that's made all these titles up and I'm writing all over them and have the right to that flag to enforce any law in my own handwriting and my own jurisdiction of authority as a surrogate king William the fourth and King William King George the fourth King William the third St Mary's Church and St Patrick's Church order there. I can write all over these documents and seize them because of fraud on our land. That's, you can see it a mile off. It's, it's up to John Key to prove it's not a fraud. That's why he ran away to Australia, thinking he's, he, we, we're not going to catch him. Yeah, you can't get away, John Key. You can't get away. You're a wanted man. And you have to pay for your crimes. You committed treason here. The Queen committed treason. And this book is all the power in the world to arrest you. It's a writ of execution, a writ of property uh, seizure, a writ of control and possession to seize any land off you and any other third party breaking our law. Okay? Breaking these acts in here. And the 1862 Native Land Act. Breaking it. Right here. The receipt breaking this act. Okay? I'm sticking it on Facebook. And that's evidence admissible in any court of law in the world. Including the World Court. Owned by King William III, Dutchman. And Westminster owned by King William the Fourth Dutchman. Two Dutchmen. Okay, you got that? That's the authority 
we have in this country. What have you got, Jacinda Ardern? What, 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 what do you have, uh, uh, Kelvin Davis? What, what, what do you have, uh, uh, anybody in this country to match this? What, what, what titles do you have? Tell me, what authority do you have? Where did you get your authority from to govern? other than these kings that I'm telling you about and whose sovereignty are you going under? I've got my own sovereignty right here in this flag. Everything, a king, a flag, a seal, two seals, the Maui Tahitian seal of the Pacific Islands is standing in London, Brussels, France, New York, Washington DC, Chile, Dunedin, South Island, Auckland, here. What have you got, Jacinda Ardern and Winston Peters? What have you got to match my title to this country, to run it myself? I can run this country myself with this new mobile phone. That's over here, this one. I can run, I can run this whole country with this, this new phone from China. Right? It's got everything in it. I can click the button and run the whole place. And sack the whole of you. I'm going to sack the whole of you because you won't stack up to that. Clear title. You're still trying to settle for less than 1%. Who wants to deal with you settling a treaty of Waitangi fraud contract that has no end date to it, ripped up, rat-eaten piece of paper, that you believe in, and your Maori iwis believe in, is rubbish, against a full-fledged flag that the king gave for me and Mani, Parapara, Mohini, <coughs> and the Moriori chiefs, Tirawakato Whare, Hirehere Manukau from Cambridge, down there in Mangatauturi, his pa, and Referee from Monica from Waiuku, Pukikoi, his land right across. Yeah, those two chiefs down that way, not that way, that way. And what the hell the Monica are doing up in the Kaipara, going that way with the title and making Whakapapa that's corrupted as well. The whole Whakapapa and all the treaty claims going under that Monica title is corrupted. All your treaty claims have the word Manukau in it. I told Rachel Holbrook from the Office of Treaty Shelters to take that name off their treaty claims. They'll have nothing. See, you see, you see, that's what I, that's what I, the way I want to, I, I did it for Mohi Manukau. And they stopped short of his claim because I said, you can't go and make him stick to 1840 underneath your 1840 treaty. Everybody else, yes. You've got to stay there, Bunty. You've got to stay in the 1840 because they got rid of your 1835 Declaration of Independence. Now you're starting to stick yourself to the 1834. No one's been talking about the 1834 until I start talking about it. Then all of you people jumped on the wagon thinking you're going you're gonna to stitch that one up with this flag. I'm sorry. You have no contract. The contract that I put together in this native court that you signed, Bundy, is for Tirawakato and referee for Monica, nobody else. It's for them, that flag is for them because it's a British flag for the two chiefs and nobody else. You have to go and get your own because those 13 chiefs that went under that flag was already there with referee for Monica. He took it from Waikato and Afitu up that way. He took it and joined Pomare in those time periods from 1830 to 1862. In fact, right up to 1888 when the pound note came out, Tafio down the Waikato got the pound note. Everything's down that way. Tafio and Kafaru the giant from Awatia down that way. Not up here. All that Kafaru stuff in the Kaipara is fraud. It's a myth. Every single thing that's been put together in Aotearoa is a myth to make money and we're going after the money with this title back to the old Manukau. Okay, you got that? So that's all I want to say on this video. I better get on with it and finish off the job. Oh, here's Money. Hello, Money!
I was trying, I was trying to ring you, and and uh, that's you know, out of range. Yeah, yeah, out of range. Yeah, yeah. Now it's very important that we we stitch this one up. That's correct. Yeah, and uh, yeah. we know we know uh, what to do, and um, 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 what's his name, um, Pody Harris. He's got similar titles as well. He he, he he he's got it. He knows, and so there's two of them, him and. Uh, uh, Morris, Morris Baker in that area, Motu Karapa on the other side, we'll, we'll stitch it up because all that area was when the British first came in. We're going back to the beginning of the end. Yeah, so that they, they, they cannot, no one can entertain this flag was for Te Waikato contract and for Ref Ref for Manukau from the Waikato region, Ref Ref went north and joined Pomare in that time period, you see? Yeah. So, so really, those people flying the flag have have no legal effect. It has no legal effect. Only was given for British contract. Yeah, and it was Paul Murray came down and uh, came down and done the wars with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that 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 was the, in the time of the commercial wars. And, and that, yes. that flag was for commercial wars uh, and not for what they're using it for. It's not for a Maori government. It wasn't given for no, a Maori no, government. No, no. It wasn't given no, for the Whakaminia. It, it wasn't yeah. given for the fucking. They actually picked it up when Refa Refa Manukau went up there. Yeah. Yeah, so it was for Refa Refa because they already got a contract going. Aye. And it was to protect the business that was set up. Yes. And, and, sure. and, and Refa Refa wasn't big enough by himself, but he had the title. That's right. He had the learning. He had the he had the, he had the um, transfer. The, he had the transfer from 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 King George to King William the Fourth of Tira in 1820. He had the transfer of the Manukau land. It was already, it was already sold. That's what I'm reading into now. And all those all those history of where they got all their claims from before they. Uh, office treaty settlement put it all together. I'm just reading all the old documents. Uh, well, we, we've got two and a half days uh, tomorrow. I'll be over to, to Morris's and, yeah. and Friday and Saturday to go through our procedure. Our, yeah, yeah. Our, yeah. How to yeah. do Cook Street. Yeah. yeah, to do Cook Street. We're, we're going to take yeah. it from the two chiefs, uh, join the yeah. two chiefs together. Uh, yes. um, uh, um, Hori, Kori, the Kori, and and Rev Reva. Um, yeah, we took, put those two together with those documents, and, and that's it. The thing was this: Mohi Manukau's family and and the Rogans uh, had had used the original Waikato chiefs and and put the put the title to make money, right? And so that that and at the time. The Ratana Church was conveniently there to uh, for the Rogans to go in and the family, and 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 and, the, and that's where I'm, I'm I'm picking that why they go to Ratana Church is to get permission to use that native title. Yeah, and you, you can add it up. That's how it is. Uh, that they they go there to get permission to use the 1862 Manukau title. Yeah. From the Rogan the Rogans in my family that uh, married my family down there, and the Rogans yeah. that married uh, the Manukau's actually got the brain to put that together. Uh, uh, so no one can, no one can, no, that's why no one's saying nothing. Uh, they, can't, they, can't, uh, they can't say anything because we're the uh, ones that fashioned those documents. That's why I'm writing all over them. Yeah. And, and, and um, it didn't matter whether I, I wrote, wrote differently or not, or mistakes, it still yeah. comes down to the principle of the matter. But where you come in is the bloodline that, that fixes the spiritual side yeah. and the yeah. land land side. So yeah, but, so that's all we have to do, uh, Manahi? Yes, yeah, we'll have to go through it again tomorrow. You know, yeah. Kanoi, yeah, yeah. And Friday and Saturday. And uh, Friday and Saturday. Friday yeah. night. Friday night we'll be going yeah. over these things. Uh, yeah. And and uh, and uh, and Saturday. Yeah. Um, yeah so. Uh, be good. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, um, uh, and uh, I think it's it's a a, a real real eye opener 
Yeah. I'll go on the radio from from there uh, and, um, on Friday. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, or even on Thursday when I get up there. But we. Well, our, our eh? is quiet. We have to keep ours quiet, eh? Oh uh, well, what? not no? not really. No, the, the more public it is, the more the British are watching. They're watching because no one can no one can interfere. It's a two part it's a two party contract, and we have to let everybody know what yeah. happened. And it's more evidence. Once it's disclosed, the courts can't handle it, right? Once yeah. once we once we disclose it, it saves a lot of money because the court will make a ruling that no one no one can get that information. Yeah. Yeah, because everybody knows. Once everybody knows, there's no court case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, and so uh, I, I contact, when I get back, I contact the private investigator, send him the whole book, and he should finish it off no trouble. Excellent. We'll, 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 be, we'll be ready to go into Cook Street, and, and Cecile will be ready to go and uh, uh, take it over. Cecile Hoods, then we can financially set ourselves yeah. up. The, oh, the, 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 all the hapus will start going back to each other and they'll model off, <laughs> model, model off Morris. They'll say, come to Papa, come to Papa. <laughs> uh, he'll, he'll pull his eye out and put it on the table and says, I only need one to read this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, he 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 knew all along, but he didn't know how to how to. Yeah, how to uh, yeah. the same as the yeah, instrument. the same the same as uh, as uh, Pody. He knew he had the documents, but he didn't know quite how to how to. He gave it over to the to the to the tribunal, and because it's here, here's the evidence. Look, 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 and they took it, and that was it. They they held on and used it, but uh, but but now we can cash up. Uh, you know what the flag is? It's like me giving you a check so you can go and cash it. <laughs> That's what the flag is. They give the flag to go and cash it. Right? <laughs> That's the way I... That's the analogy I use. The flag is a, is a check... open checkbook. Right? It's an open yeah. checkbook. Aye, <laughs> right, aye. Right. Yes. So, I'll, I'll leave it here now. Okay. But, uh, if, if that's all right, then you'll yeah. catch up with okay. you tomorrow yeah. uh, lunchtime, eh? Yeah, come around. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. I'll be around. He's got the pig and everything done now for the spit. And, yeah. and, and, uh, come around tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice day, you too. Thanks, William. All right. Well, that's uh, money. Oh, we caught him on a video. We caught him on a video. We, we waited till he got in town to get a reception. So we're, we're passionate about what we do, and I think uh, Morris and um, Pody, uh, finally I get to talk to Pody straight, face to face, and we're talking the right language. We've been going like that before, because I look at oh, all these papers he's talking about, his whakapapa and all that, he's correct, but it's how to, I knew he was on the right track, but I was following Mohi Manaka, right to the point of the Ratana church he was in, followed him around all these years, videoed him all everything on the land, thinking he had the ace factor. Yes, he did, with the money. But the real Manukau is down in Mangatotali and the Waikato region. Right? All the titles, all the all the factual evidence is there, but the copycats is up in the Kaipara. Unfortunately, I have to say it that way. The truth is that <coughs> the Rogans in my family, the Rogan in Mohi's family, fashion all of this, and you're first time to know. It's the Freemasons' secret, bank's biggest secret. I've left it out of the bag of the Pandora's box. So, you're going to all get a silver bullet in your head because I told you. And I don't get to sell the bullet because I'm going to go and square the books up with this checkbook, open checkbook. I was saying to Manahi, when you get a checkbook and you can use it to cash your check, it's the same with this flag as a checkbook. It's an open checkbook to write anything on it. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We 
we're using that for its intended purpose, not for waving around the place thinking you're going to make a new government. No, there's already one there, we just take it over and put some more better people in there. I don't want those people there, they're, they're, they're corrupted. If you went to their school and they showed you how they do things, like Peter Dunn, just flopped, like his hair flopped. You see, because it wasn't made to last. Everything they do is temporary. It's a caretaker. You know what a caretaker does? He gets replaced by another caretaker. Or a real boss, not a caretaker. Right? They're only on a contract. And the contract ends. Right? Going to end the contract, but I'm going to leave them there and pick them off one by one and debtor them. Judgment debtor in favour of the judgment creditor. The Maori Crown King William IV Trust. Creditor. Sheriff with your hat on. When you get a hat on like this in a t shirt, you're in business. Okay, you get that? That's plain and simple. Common sense. Logic. Okay? fact, you've got your evidence in the right place, your land in the right place, your whakapapa in the right place with real people, not bodgy surnames, like Paraoni, Brown. You see, they did that to follow what was set up in the Kaipara. Images and myths, stories, all those stories you can throw them in rubbish, throw them, in, throw them out, all that whakapapa is not right. All the te tau, <coughs> Juri Aho, and Natikawa, Te Roro, all those whakapapas have strung off these Waikato chiefs. Te Roro Waikato, made into a woman, and Waikato strung off into another name, or, or uh, 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 some, some name, uh, a chief, the Bandi was saying. You see? And uh, Refa Refa into Rewa in Ravni on top of the hill, the grave, Rewa. That's Refa Refa Malika. Okay, that way he's buried over there. I know everything. I know everything because I have to know to check up on the pirates. The pirates are the ones who are third party playing around with this flag. It wasn't made for playing around with. It was made to shoot anybody who gets in the road of this contract between these two chiefs and Britain. You go and get your own flag. Use the Tinaraga Tanga flag for your business. Don't use this one because it's going to get a pound note on your head if you get in the road of this from Taheke. So those people come to Taheke Marae, was an original native court, the same as Rangi took here, school, private school. That's the native court there, right there, on our land blocks. I'm on the land blocks next to it. The Haho Chambi block with the Waka is Toi Kairako Waka, the one that Nazi Blue played around with and bodged it up all the names on it too. You're going to get seized. Nazi Blue Iwi, you've made all that river like it is, all, all the damage in the hills, you cut all the logs down, you put the bill straight on you. All the Runangas, all the Iwis are going to get the bill on your head from me. Right? You get that? Because you made all the damage. You kicked me off the land. You kicked me off the team right? You bloody trustees. You kicked me off. You, you, you don't like me. It's not that I don't like you. I don't like you the way you're treating me. Knowing this much. You put your title in front of me. Otherwise, off the land you go. Mr. Chicken Man. I'm the team right? You haven't got a title to rub two stones together. You can say all you like. But I'm afraid the guns are out for you, from the British, not from me. They know what's wrong and what's right here. It was the pirates who put those laws together to keep us off our land. Okay, that's all I want to say before this video runs out. We'll catch you later. Have a nice day. Bye. Today is Wednesday, the 15th of November 2017. And I'm off to Pahia tomorrow. Get off on the Manabas, my Manabas, and um, um, Morris Baker pick me up and I'll go to his home and put this all together. See ya. We'll see you at the Hui. Bye.